Luna is a five-year-old Frisian cross thoroughbred registered as a sport horse. She stands around 15 two hands or 157 centimeters high, but is still going through quite a big growth spurt. Luna was broken in as a three-year-old in August 2013 by her previous owner, who was a horse breeder and dealer. She was taught the basics of walk, trot and canter and then was turned away until summer 2014. I saw her ad and was interested. Although she didn't tick all my boxes and I could see that she had problems with ducking behind the contact, I decided to go and look at her anyway. I rode her for the first time in the arena and she seemed very reactive to me. She wasn't very used to new riders, so was rushing and hollow a lot of the time. I then took her out on a hack alone and she settled a lot more. I really fell in love with her goofy personality and on the car ride home I was pretty certain I wanted to buy her. I officially bought her on the 20th of September 2014. When she arrived she was very nervous, having only moved homes once before. Our first ride at home was pretty terrible, she was very tense in walk and panicked and bolted when I asked her to trot. After that I checked the fit of the saddle and realised it wasn't suitable so I focused on groundwork while I looked for a new one. It was around the end of October before I began riding again. She was a lot less reactive but was still very inconsistent in the bridle and did still have panicky moments. I still did a lot of lunging and groundwork with her at the time to try and settle her more, but this didn't translate that well into ridden work and she remained pretty inconsistent. By January I mostly stopped riding her because although my saddle had been professionally fitted I wasn't happy with how it felt and thought that this might be causing her issues. I got a physiotherapist out and she agreed the saddle was causing issues which caused pain primarily through her trapezius muscle but also triggered soreness in other areas. After her physio, I decided to completely stop riding and only lunged her.
I began using long side reins to encourage her to stretch forward and down into the contact. She improved a lot at this time. She became a lot more relaxed. Um, even on the ground, she, she started to sort of trust me a lot more and really relax. Um, just overall relax a lot more. Um, she is a, an incredibly sensitive horse and obviously this caused a lot of issues when it came to saddle fitting because if anything is wrong she just misbehaves because she's just so sensitive. I also did trick training with her, which she really enjoys. I've only done a little bit with her. I've taught her to bow and sort of the beginning of Spanish walk, um, which she found very confusing at the beginning, but she is getting better. I don't do it that, that often anymore, um, but you know, she does really enjoy it. So it's something that we do when I don't have time to ride or on her days off. I was eventually able to remove the side reins and lunge her without training aids, which proved she had learned to stretch and carry herself in balance. I had another saddle fitter come out and fit a saddle to her and the static fit looked good and she was okay when I got on her. However, when I cantered in the saddle, she started bucking. I got off so the fitter could adjust the saddle, but it happened every time until eventually she was bucking in all gates. The fitter was convinced that it was a perfect fit and that Luna just had an attitude problem. Um, these clips are of her being ridden in that saddle. Although she isn't bucking here, she is hollow and very reluctant to move forwards, which could look like her being lazy, but it's because she can't really move under the saddle properly. I decided to ignore the saddle fitter and I just continued doing groundwork and I also did some bareback riding, mainly hacking just to get her forward thinking again and she did continue to have issues with bucking so I only did walk work. Around the middle of April I began talking to Will Faber who is a master horseman in California. He and his wife, Karen, agreed that the saddle wasn't a perfect fit and encouraged me to continue lunging until I found something she was happy in. Eventually, I found a secondhand Schlazer. It was really out of my price range, but I managed to bring the price down a little bit and with help from my mum, I purchased the saddle. The saddle got fitted to Luna in the beginning of May and for the first time I felt like she was completely happy. She still bucked in canter but I was confident that this was just a behavioural trigger and it did phase out very quickly. Until July, I alternated riding and lunging every day um, just to sort of ease her back into work. And then by August, we were riding four or five days a week. Although she wasn't instantly perfect, she was a whole lot more consistent than she used to be.
At the end of August, I took her out schooling for the first time. I was really happy with the way she behaved, um, considering she was in a completely new place for the first time with no other horses around whatsoever. I just thought she coped very well. She was tense for the first five or 10 minutes, but she settled and worked very well. I still focus on mainly stretching her, but I'm beginning to bring her pole up higher for short periods of time. She has a tendency to overbend and go behind the vertical, and she has always been like that. It's the first thing I noticed when I saw her ad, and um, I don't know whether that's the way she was ridden before, whether they used draw reins or training aids on her but um, it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be and it is improving every day. I'm really excited to see what the future brings with this horse. Um, it has been a difficult year of finding out just how sensitive she is but she tries so hard and improves massively every day. I'm hoping to take her to a few shows over the winter, but really I'm more focused on advancing her training at the moon.